Hi, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. A little bit early. I'm going to roll this out this weekend so you've got plenty of time to shop. Now, I'm doing two things. One, I'm going to give you a coupon, of course, that you can use for all these new lures that we're going to talk about. Two, I'm actually doing a Valentine's Day sale as well, and that's already started. And where you can find that is, you know, when you go to the website and you go to the lure shop, and the first little category off to the left, it says new lures. And that's always the one that you land on first to see all the new stuff. Right underneath that, there's another category that I slipped in there just for now that's Valentine's Day sale. And what that is, is, well, number one, I made so much stuff, I'm running out of room. <laughs> and number two, there's some things that I'm just tired of looking at and I want to maybe do them differently next time. So I'd like to just get them out of here and then start over with maybe a new plan. And so there's a bunch of deep discounted things on there. And the coupon does not apply to the sale items, okay? Those are two different things because... Yeah, it's, that would be too much. So I have a lot of new things. Um, I don't have time to like edit this video. So if I ramble, I'm sorry, there's going to be no post editing. This is going to be a one take Charlie here. So if you get tired of listening to me ramble, just fast forward and I'm sorry. I made so much new stuff that I actually still have a bunch. I just had to stop at some point. I have a bunch of things sitting back there for the next round. Okay. So really quickly, Here's some things that are kind of new, but not new. First order of business is, I know a lot of you are getting ready for, you know, to gear up for springtime for ahi season. I made a short run of these little guys, okay? The little rockets. For those that don't know, these are the heavy seven inch bullets with mother of pearl slab. I do a lot of them in root beer. There's various different styles. I have some infinite blue and so on. Um, I don't have this to show you, but you know what it is. I just pulled them out of the pressure pot. They will get polished and skirted, like, I don't know, Monday. Um, so I'm going to have some more Dirty Monkey and Strawberry Alarm Clock, okay, with these that are the, the bright white Mother of Pearl. Also, um, yeah, so I, did, I just did a handful of those. So go grab them while they're there. And I did... I did a new one. This is like a copper. I think you've seen this before. It's a copper hologram and it's kind of that golden mother of pearl slab in there. And this is a Pakula skirt combo. Okay. So there's that for your little ahi snacks. The other thing that's new, but not new. Um, last year I did an experiment with those little sirens that are really awesome for mahi mahi. They're the little seven inch um, cut face plungers and they have mother of pearl flake inside because it kind of emulates scales as they're moving through the water with all the flashy. Okay. But what I did was I did them in a, in a root beer matrix and then with my little eyes that I make, and I made them glow and they have my little glow combos and they went really well. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that like these, these do really, really well for big bowl mahi. So, uh, when, when, when they're eating squid, basically really similar, both of these, it's just, it's the same glowing inner skirt. It's just two different, uh, squid style outers. Okay. So whatever you pick your poison. Okay. So there's those new, but not new. Also, uh, I recently did some scoops and this was by request this is uh electric boobs which is the pink outer and the glowing uh white inner and this is my sugar baby scoop head electric boobs does really really well in costa rica and so i was asked to put to pair that up with my sugar baby head okay so i have a couple of those that's new so that's all the new but not new now I told you guys I was going to do some things that people were requesting. Now, I got a lot of requests for me to do more 12-inch lures, um, which I have, and I'm still working on more. So one of those would be, you know, purple. All my purples are very successful, and my purple rock stars do incredibly well, especially deep in South America and people that are going out to the fads. Um, they're just, they're a big, heavy rock star that's balanced, Okay. What I did this time was I did a banded amethyst with, this is magnesite because you get the contrast, but it's more of a lavender color. And then I did this lavender outer matrix with a classic big red eye. I'm calling this acid skipjack because look at the skirt combo. So it's got that purple, blue, and black and everything that you like about a skipjack lure. But 
I put shark bite underneath it because with shark bite, you get red and pink. Okay. So it's basically, this is your skipjack on some LSD. Okay. Uh, I was also asked for more pink lures. That was primarily for Panama, but I think these are going to be great in the Bahamas as well. So uh, one of these actually took a flying leap off my desk and already headed down to Panama early before it was even available for sale. So this one, look at this. This is that uh, rippled awabi shell. Isn't that beautiful? And I made a glowing pink inner, and these are my own eyes. And look at the skirt combo. Oh my gosh. And what I'm really loving is the dark intense contrast of doing the double pour black head with the pink body. I like that a lot. This is also a glowing pink head, but this one has hologram tape that has texture. Look at that. Isn't that nice? What I did with this one is kind of a variation on grape. A lot of similarity to the grape skirt combo, but we'll call it a pink grape. Okay. Cause that's what I want to call it. Okay. Next. Um, I was also asked to make more of these. This is my glowing Mother of Pearl Squid. Remember we talked about this with the Mother of Pearl Flake? Same thing, only this is a heavy rock star model. So this has my own handmade eyes. Look at the flash in those eyes. Isn't that cool? This glows. I figured out how to make all this Mother of Pearl Flake inside actually glow. And the inner skirt here glows. So this is a glowing squid, all right? And it's a big, heavy sucker. Um, and then I also... I haven't even skirted this yet, just finished it, but um, people wanted more of my salt and pepper. This is the 12 inch Diva, but it's the extra heavy version. It has a lot more weight in it, okay? Um, this I generally skirt in uh, Hellraiser, which is if you take shark bite and you do one on the outside and one on the inside and you reverse them. Does that make sense? You'll find it on the website to see what I mean. Okay. I do have more 12s that I'm making that's going to be for the next round, but I got to show you this thing. I am so proud of this, you guys. This is literally probably one of the best things I've ever made. There's only four of them. There will not be any more because I found that I had, this is dragon skin. It's like the best dragon skin in the world. And I found it that I had from a long time ago. So look at this. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw, oh, also I did a, um, I did a YouTube video not too long ago of what was on my workbench and it was this. And so I made these eyes to go with it. And I did this double pour of a nice dark blue top and this insert glows. I did some dichroic foil on the belly just to give a little extra flash, paired it with evil. I love this so much. I'm so, it's going to be a little more expensive, but it's worth it. I mean, look at this. Yeah, this is like the best evil ever. Now, if a 12 inch evil plunger is not your style, how about a nine? Yes, I did. I made them in nine too, because I'm awesome and I love you. And so here is evil. Okay. If you're new here and you don't know, Evil, first of all, is an incredible classic that has always worked everywhere. It has like the best of both worlds in it. You get cool colors, you get warm colors. It has so much happening. And it's generally blue on top, silver belly, and then underneath is green gold, okay? I remember when I first started doing this and the first time I saw this and I didn't know anything, I went, that's so ugly. And it took me like, I don't know, no time at all to learn the, how wrong I was. So this is a jetted version that I did and a nine inch plunger. So it's a smoker and look at all that flash. Isn't that just awesome? Now along that line, um, requests flying fish. Everybody likes flying fish. So I did some flying fish and not only that, but I did flying fish with dragon skin and my own handmade eyes. Thank you very much. My eyes that I made here are kind of a reddish pink. Okay. Theory behind all this, when you have like pink belly or pink inner skirts, or you have uh, pink or red eyes is you're emulating like a bait fish is bleeding. Okay. So it's a wounded bait fish. So not only do you have a yummy looking bait fish bait, but it looks like it's wounded. All right. I mean, those big gorilla ahi, they just love to see a bait that's got that like big tease and pink belly popping out, you know? Okay, so I digress. I told you you could fast forward if I get off on a tangent. Um, glowing blue head, blue dragon skin, 
It's so pretty. Really classic uh, Malolo skirt combo. Blue over silver. I've got, I love this inner skirt. This is such a cool inner skirt. I just call it orange, pink, white. I honestly don't know what in the world it's called. I've always called it orange, pink, white. So there's that and ice blue. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at that dragon skin. Isn't that just awesome? Now, this insert, I wonder if you can see this on, oh, look there, you can. Let me focus in. Look at that. So not only did I create an ice blue insert, I also made it glow, of course, but I also put these big flakes of dichroic foil on the inside so it's got flash all its own. I have no idea if that's going to make any difference in you catching fish or not, but I figured, you know, why not try, right? Really beautiful skirt combo. This is so icy. Um, this outer is Assassin. I love Assassin. Very ice blue. Now, what could be better than an ice blue flying fish except ice blue triple skirt? And this is Electric Salmon. So once again, if you don't know, this is the outer is Salmon and then plum but i use uh black purple and then sunrise inside of that okay um i started trying to do a tutorial video last week and i'm either gonna have to start over or just do some severe editing but i was trying to teach you guys how to triple skirt a bfd because it's just a little bit different triple skirting is a challenge even for me on my best day but you know Sometimes I do it because it's worth it. it. Costs a little more because, you know, you've got a whole extra skirt in there. But, oh, my gosh, it's just amazing. This, oh, sorry, first, the lure, glowing blue head, blue dragon skin, and handmade eyes. Okay, the this is a kind of a classic Hawaiian skirt combo with a slight change. Um, you generally have, you know, blue on top. I love this Aurora. Isn't that beautiful? Blue on top, silver belly. Um, underneath that is good old sunrise right? And then normally underneath that, you would probably put a hot pink. Um, in this case, I put a glowing pink because I'm all about the glow. It works. There's a reason why BFDs have worked so well from the time they were launched, and it's because we've always been all about the glow around here. Okay, so well, we have two different flying fish, two different, different triple skirts, and now a couple different purple and blacks. Okay. Um, again, you might've seen me coming up with this when I was doing my workbench video, but basically it was because I hadn't done anything in Lop Chong in a while. And Lop Chong is one of those really terrific, um, particularly summertime Marlin combos. Anytime you can get purples and blacks going, especially in the summer, it's, um, it's just a good, cool color to use when the water's warmer. Okay. So, uh, Lop Chong is purple and black, over the top of Lop Chong. That's what that skirt is called. So what I did with this was a jetted Jezebel bullet. Okay. And I put this awesome deep purple and black dragon skin. Isn't that cool? And then my own eyes that I made. And then very similarly, but a little different on this. Uh, if you've been around here a while, you know that it's a little bit difficult to make purple glow for a lot of different chemistry reasons. But on this one, what I did was kind of a lavender insert and I got it to glow. So go check out the photos on the website because I did get this to glow. And over that, we have a really beautiful, well, that's that's that same purple and black dragon skin. Isn't that nice? And then I did acid skipjack again because skipjack on LSD is fun. All right, uh, next. Very classic chartreuse. Everything loves chartreuse. I don't care what you're fishing for. It loves chartreuse, but look at this. Look at how that's also flashy. I used some classic eyes on this, the classic red hologram eyes, because I used a classic skirt on this. This is your classic mackerel. So, but the inner, it glows. It's a, it's a yellow and chartreuse inner that glows. Okay. So you have a glowing mackerel with flash. Isn't that awesome? And this one, similar, but different. This is a bright yellow. Oh, I did this because I was asked to. Uh, apparently, this gets really beat up in Costa, and so somebody needed a replacement. So I went ahead and I just made a couple. The only thing that's different from what I did last time around on this is these are my own eyes that I make myself, and they glow. So we just have a little bit more glow. This is a bright yellow glowing inner. This is a jetted smoker. This has, look at that, 
Look at that flash. Isn't that beautiful? And it also has a, a glowing inner skirt. Okay? So, another glowing mackerel, I guess. This, you guys probably saw me making this a while ago. This is really different and strange, but this is layer upon layer of dichroic material that I cut into small pieces and I add layer after layer myself until it's all built up to have lots of different color and flash and it glows right through. So I have a bright yellow glowing inner. If you take a look again, look on the website and see the glow photo. The cool thing about this, you what you get is you get the difference in color. You get how it changes Look at that. See? So as it's moving through the water, it's going to flash and it's going to flash different color. But the glow shows through when you see the texture. Texture is important, right? That's why I do all this stuff with all these rocks in it. All right. The texture actually lends to the veracity of the bait fish. Make sense? Okay. I made this to go with this skirt. This is a Pakula skirt on the outer. I put a black and gold on the inner and look at this skirt. It's like, it's, it's so ugly. It's awesome. It's got this weird olive color and these, you know, chevrons against the orange and it's just so squiddy. So this is for clearly when you need something, when you're running squid and squid are doing their thing, because I put this on a jetted bullet, right? Um, I put kind of a, a different, um, dichroic on the top here to kind of continue the look of the skirt of the outer skirt and you can see there we go look at that isn't that beautiful that's got like a really deep burnt orange and gold very squiddy oh look at my eyes look at how they flash i put a lot of hologram in behind my uh my handmade eyes so that the eyes flash it's free advertising you're down there anyway why not be flashy okay um this is i found some um, Yuzuri skirts that I forgot I had that I bought from pop a long time ago. And I had this weird little stash. Sometimes I'm really weird about my skirts and I like stash them because I'm like, Ooh, I want these all for myself and I don't want to share. And so then I stash them and I forget that I have them. And then I go and I buy these skirts that are like hiding. So I found this is it. This is all I got of these. And so if you want these, you better grab them because I don't have any more of these skirts. So, uh, this is these awesome, uh, black spots and on the inside is a white and pink and look at that beautiful pearly dragon skin and all of that nice subtle flash this is kind of a different thing that I put across the top to go with it these are not my eyes full disclosure I did not make these um this is a bright white insert that I did with a, a titanium powder and it glows so both of these the heads glow look at the colors in this you've got this purple and pink and then inside is the best sunrise. I love this sunrise. This is the sunrise that has the pink in her. If you know, you know, right? So these are a, um, a Vixen, which is the nine inch cut face plunger. This is kind of our flagship lure. Um, was always our original, our original BFD, right? Okay. Are you ready for this one? I think I put out a, a video. Maybe it was on Instagram when I pulled these out of the pot, out of the pressure pot. And I was so excited. So just, I don't even need to say anything. Just look at that. You guys, I know, always love it. Whenever I make something that's like a cabito or a, a, like a goggle eye, they always get bought right up. And I know you guys love that. And so this um, inner skirt, this is my own thing that Blue Ocean makes for me. And it is a natural ivory color and it glows really bright. And I like to put toad over the top of it. I love toad. Look at that. You have all those nice cross stripes and this beautiful blue hologram glitter, right? And it goes perfectly with this. And I made these eyes. Hold on. Let me focus. There we go. I made these eyes, which you can see all the sparkle in there. And you can see all of that amazing color that's going on in this dragon skin. But I made these inserts, this ivory colored insert to match this skirt because I like to have a consistent bait from tip to tail. I, when I'm making something that looks like a genuine natural bait, I like the whole thing to look right from tip to tail. And so this was actually planned out this way. Okay. Also on this, this is a glowing ivory insert that maybe you can see. I put some of that dichroic foil on the inside of this as well. I hope you can see that sparkle because it's really awesome. And if you're wondering why on a lot of other lures, people will take and they will wrap the whole um, lead with shell 
or with hologram, or they will wrap their whole uh, resin insert with shell or with hologram. And I don't do that. I specifically plan these out this way so that you can see the resin insert. And there's a reason for that. I spend an awful lot of time custom mixing colors for a special purpose. One, to maybe go with a skirt combo, or two, to actually resemble a bait. So why would I do all that and then make it glow and then cover it up completely with shell or hologram, right? So I like to leave some stuff peeking around the edges. So that's why my style looks a little different from other people's styles is because I cut my inserts so that you can still see that resin that I took so much time to mix and create, if that makes sense. Okay, you guys, that's what I got. I have more sitting on the bench back there waiting to be polished and skirted. And so we'll do that as soon as possible. Meanwhile, you need a coupon. So coupon code is going to be love. I know I'm so corny love. <laughs> so that's your coupon code. That might even be what I used last year. I don't remember. I know I'm a cornball and I don't care. L-O-V-E, man, that's your coupon code. That gets you 20% off all lures, not just these new ones, but whatever other lures in there that you've been wanting, okay, except for not the sale items. And maybe, I'm sorry, but I think I might be excluding this one from the coupon. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll today's Saturday. I'll decide tonight, okay, because <laughs> I'm loading this video up tonight. So maybe, we'll see. So there's going to be a mailer going out. I hope you guys have signed up for that. And that's going to kind of trigger you and let you know when this video goes up. And I'm going to try to get all this going out Sunday morning before I go to church. And then you guys can just shop your hearts out. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and happy fishing.